Jenny Allen and I'm a certified life coach with a passion for building the self-esteem and confidence of women, not at the exclusion of men. Okay, so thank you for joining me for the 12 days of Christmas and today is, sorry, the 12 days of wisdom for 2018 and uh, today is day six and we're going to be talking about wisdom being a building. Don't forget to sign up to my mailing list and my YouTube channel. The links are on my Periscope profile. So don't forget to check it out after the broadcast. So we're going to be looking at wisdom helps you build. Wisdom helps you to build. And the 12 days of wisdom is based on Proverbs chapter 9 verse 1. Wisdom helps you to build. So we're going to read Proverbs 9 verse 1 and I'm going to read it in a couple of versions. So the first one I'm going to read is uh, the King James Version. Excuse me as I look over there because I'm reading it off of my uh, computer. So Proverbs 9 1 says in the King James, wisdom hath builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillows. Pillars. Uh, the Holman Christian Standard Bible says, Wisdom has built her house. She has carved out her seven pillars. International Standard Version says, Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. So wisdom helps you to build. Whatever house you want to build in 2018, whatever business you want to build, whatever um you know, your career that you want to build, whatever relationship you're going to want to build, you are going to need wisdom to do it. And in order to obtain wisdom and to apply new wisdom to your life, sometimes you have to get rid of what you already know, because what you already know and what you think is working for you now may actually not be working for you. The wisdom we used maybe in 19, I don't know, 1990, because of the world has changed and the, and technology has changed, the way you do, um, communicate wisdom or the way you handle it for a business, a relationship, whatever, you may have to change the way how you do it. So I just want to just share a couple of things about wisdom. You know, wisdom is, is I've heard someone say that wisdom is knowledge correctly applied. And sometimes, you know, we have knowledge and belief systems that don't work. We actually live in the knowledge that we have and we live in our belief system. And our belief systems can be passed down from parent to child and it can be generational. You have a set way of thinking about doing something. But sometimes these set ways of thinking do not help you to build. OK, they do not help you to build. And the thing is, for 2018, I want to challenge you to look at some of your ways of thinking. What is your current level of wisdom? What is your current level of knowledge? Did it help you to build the things that you wanted to build in 2017? And what knowledge and what wisdom, what understanding are you going to need to get, to learn or to gather? to be able to do what you need to do in 2018. I know that I've got to read some more books. I've got some other things that I need to change because in order to make an impact, you have to be willing to change your mindset. You have to be willing to change certain things about yourself. Okay. Now, what mental space are you living in? What mental space are you living in? Because it says here, wisdom has built her house. We have wisdom built a successful house. So you have to give the, the wisdom that you're going to learn, the knowledge that you're going to learn. You have to give it space to work and things that can block that ability to, to uh, work for giving wisdom that space to work is the people who you may hang around with the people, you know, um, maybe in your work setting, maybe some of your family, you might have to shift the way how you interact them to give your wisdom knowledge to work, to give your wisdom knowledge to build. Because if you're learning something new, 
and somebody that you might be friends with they're not on that same path as that same path as you and they have wisdom from so many years ago that's not working today the both of you are going to clash so you have to know what you're going to do in order for your giving your wisdom space to work okay i hope that makes sense because when you learn something new you want to put be able to put it into practice but if you're with colleagues or friends or associates who don't believe in the same uh, thought processes as you that is where the house that you're trying to build in 2018 that's where it can become stuck okay so build um, wisdom um, will help you to build a successful career a successful um, you know business uh, whatever you're planning to do, whatever your goals are in 2018, getting the right knowledge, getting the right wisdom will help you to build that thing. So work out what you're going to do. If you need um, a goal setting sheet, if you're not sure how to do, write goals um, and you're struggling with how you're going to work your goals out for next year, I have a, a, goal, a goal sheet, seven steps to goal setting that is on my, the link is on my Periscope profile. You can sign up there and the goal setting sheet will be emailed directly to your, your email uh, inbox. Okay. Because it's important that you st think strategically and that you know what you're going to do in the next year. How many books do you want to read in the next year? in order to build your wisdom, to build your knowledge, your understanding. What types of things are you going to have to research? What people would you need to study? Okay. In order to build that house, what wisdom are you going to need to get? What wisdom, what new things are you going to have to learn? So that's my challenge uh, for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to join me tomorrow when we're going to be doing day eight. And I want you to think about what you're going to do, how you're going to build, who's going to help you build in 2018. Okay, so God bless you. Thank you for joining me. And I will catch you tomorrow. Thanks. I appreciate you and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.